Thank you. It's pretty good, you know, when you took a hard hit on your shoulder uh, in the game, it's in the Garrett Rack or something. Feeling pretty good going into this week, no issues moving forward? Yeah, no, no issues moving forward. I mean, it's a physical game. Football stuff happens, you know. Ryan, here in the front. What are your thoughts on the great jerseys and what was your reaction when you saw them the first time? I really like them. I think it's like kind of a combination of the smoky gray with like a throwback twist to it. So something new, something different. I'm glad we get to bring them out, honor coverage all the way and everything. So. Vince? Coach Apple mentioned a couple times that maybe early in the ball game, still guys maybe weren't in sync. Why do you think maybe it took you a little bit to kind of get clicking offensively? You know, it's your first game, first time going out as an offense competing against someone else. You know, someone in a different jersey, not your teammates. Um, it takes time. You, you almost have to make those mistakes to be able to correct them. So as we made mistakes, we go to the sideline, communicate, talk, learn, kind of digest what's not clicking and why it's not clicking. And then I think throughout the game, we saw it kind of start to come together. But um, I mean, at the skill position for us, it's just making the right reads, not being anxious. Kind of have to have some poise, especially you come out, you got nerves, first game. But um, you know, you kind of settle in, and then things start to click later. Sam? This is not about the last game, but I know a couple of weeks ago it was announced that every single time you score a touchdown, an AD will be donated. Can you just talk about that and what that means to you? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I was fortunate enough in the offseason to be able to um, meet this lady. Her name is uh, Julie Walker. She had lost her, uh, her daughter to sudden cardiac arrest. And I, I took an interest to it, just given the whole De DeMar Hamlin situation we had. And then more recently with uh, Bronny James, I felt like that was timely. But um, yeah, I was able to start my own piece of it and partner with that foundation. It's called Huddle for Hearts. And it's basically a platform for any players across the country to use the platform to help raise awareness for sudden cardiac arrest. And then the AD machines is just something I can do to give back to the community. So I found a, a company that makes the AED machines called Rescue One. And for every touchdown, they said they'll donate an AD, AED machine. And I think I've had a, a few players have reached out from other schools around the country to do their own thing at their schools so they can help, you know, bring awareness and things of that nature. Parker? You, you seem to be fearless going over the middle as a receiver. Is that something you have to have as a, have a mindset for? Uh, know you're going to take a hit and still try to make the play? Yeah, I mean, I've always been told, like, you're going to get hit regardless. You might as well catch the ball. So that's kind of my logic going into it. Like, I'm going to take the hit either way, so I might as well get a reception. Paige? This weekend, the program will celebrate the anniversary of Holloway. What does that milestone still mean to this program today? I think it means a lot, especially as a black student athlete. You get to look back and see that as the first black quarterback to play at Tennessee. And it's nice to you know be here in 2023, and we're commending something that happened such a long time ago, and um, it means a lot. And it's a, it's a special thing, especially first home game in Neyland, get to represent that. So I'm excited. What do you think of the turf? It's a very different, newer uh, turf. What do you think of that? Um, it's, it's different. I mean, it's different than our turf in the indoor. Um, the surface was a little bit different. It took some adjusting to get to get used to, but it was fat. Like I, I felt fast on it. It felt bouncy. At times, it ha I felt like I had give. It, sometimes, it felt like you could really put your foot in the ground. But um, no issues with it. We practice on grass a lot. I, I don't think we've played on turf since I've been here. So um, you know, you just adjust on the fly. Paige, uh, you're actually coming back here. You're actually coming off an injury from last season. How did it feel just to get back on the field on Saturday, get those receptions, and kind of just get back to what you were doing last year? It feels good. You know, it bu builds confidence too. Like. Um, Obviously, in practice, we're not hitting a ton, and you're really going to take your big licks once you get to Saturday. But, you know, um, I felt good. I wasn't even thinking about it. No issues with it after the game, so I'm happy. Adam and Patrick. The run game was real good the other day. Uh, what, what, how has that emphasized run blocking for the wide receivers? We put a huge emphasis on it. it just, I mean, we want to play physical, especially in our in our room, that's like a standard that we set. So when we're running the ball a lot, I mean, it, it's something that is important for us because if we're running the ball, that means they're usually dropping eight. They're trying to stop us from creating big plays down the field. 
So if we have the ability to block on the perimeter and open up for the backs, that means they have to bring more guys in the box and give us chances to get the ball on the perimeter. Patrick, just throwing that play out in the end zone, did you think you got your foot down and bounced? Yeah, you know, I thought so, but I looked up at the jumbotron after and was like, ah, yeah, I, I see it. But, you know, I'll get more opportunities like that. And it was nice to, you know, make the catch still. But, um, you know, we got another one coming Saturday. You guys, as a receiver room, you guys put in a lot of work, and, and when a play happens like Ramel had earlier with the, with the drop, do you guys say anything to him? Do you kind of just let him deal with it on his own, or do you encourage him? How do you guys approach that as, as a group? Well, I mean, I've watched Ramel probably catch 100 deep balls every single day after practice in his free time. That's one of the – it's like it's, a contested catch is almost easier. When you're running wide open down the field in front of a packed stadium and you can think about it, it's like one of the hardest catches you can possibly make. You don't really say anything. Like he he's hard enough on himself and we know that he'll make that play, you know, nine times out of ten times out of ten in my opinion. Anything else for Brew? All right. Oh, Ryan, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, after watching the film, how would you rate just the overall performance that you guys had as a receiver group? Was it I mean, was it obviously there were some things that were missing early on, but was it was it not that bad of a day overall or um, I'm pretty critical. I think there's a lot of things to clean up. But from an effort standpoint, how we block since we're running the ball a lot, like I think we did pretty outstanding on that level. And there's a lot of good things to build off of. And also you see mistakes getting made that people are like immediately know where they messed up, where they went wrong, and they're correcting it on the fly. Um, so I wouldn't be too hard on at least the skill position guys, but Definitely a lot to build on. All right, thank you.